What is going on guys? It's Noah from Six Flow Automations. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the N8N MCP and hook it up with Claude Desktop. This is going to allow you to build complex automations in seconds. So if you're an N8N user, you're going to want to stick around for this one. As always, if you find this content useful or you're feeling generous today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to Claude.ai slash download, and you're going to want to download Claude Desktop on Windows or Mac OS, whatever you're using. Once you download that, either log in or create your account if you're new, and then you will have to upgrade your plan to at least Pro to be able to use the N8N MCP. So go ahead and do that now. It's only 24 a month and it's absolutely worth it in my opinion, especially if you're automating all the time. I would even suggest canceling your ChatGPT Pro plan if you're on that and switching over to the Claude Pro plan. The next thing we're gonna need is Node.js. So to check if you already have this, just tap on your Windows key and type in CMD and enter to open your command prompt. And then we're just gonna type Node-V and you will see that mine says node is not recognized as an internal or external command, meaning that I do not have it installed yet. So if yours is the same as mine, we will have to install it. If yours shows the version that you have, then you're good to go. To install it, we're going to go back to our browser, open up a new tab and go to nodejs.org like that. And then we will press on get node.js and just install the .msi and then just follow the instructions to complete the installation. And once you have that installed, we are going to make sure. So we're going to go back to our command prompt and we will type in the same command. We're going to go node slash V. And now we see our version pop up. So this is the latest version, V22.18.0. So now that we have Node.js installed, it's going to be pretty simple to install the N8N MCP. We're just going to type in NPX space N8N dash MCP and hit enter and it's gonna ask us to install the following package. So we're just gonna say yes by typing Y and then hitting enter. And now it's just gonna load and install all the packages we need to run the N8N MCP. So let's just let it load for now. All right, so now that the installation is done, you may see a few depreciated warnings. That's not to worry though, this is totally normal with an open source tool like this. Below that, you can see that we have our Node.js version down here and our N8N API is still not configured, which we'll get to in just a sec. And then you can see the location where all the packages were installed to right here. So now the next thing we're gonna do is open File Explorer and go to your local disk, your C drive and tap on users and then select your user. We're looking for a folder called app data. If you don't see it here, just press on view, press on show and then hidden items and you should see it pop up right there. We're gonna select that. Then we will go to roaming and we will select Claude. So here we're gonna to wanna to make a new file. So just right click, go to new and just make a text document. And we're actually gonna delete the .txt and we're gonna name this Claude underscore desktop underscore config. And then we're gonna give it a .json and just select yes. So then we will open this. Mine opens in VS Code, you could open it in Notepad as well, whatever you want. Then we're just gonna paste in this JSON right here. I'll paste this down below so you guys can just copy it. And the only thing we're gonna need to fill in here is our N8N URL and then give it an N8N API key. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to our N8N account and in the URL, we're just gonna copy this first part right here which is your instance. So we're gonna go back into VS Code and we will paste that right in here. Then we will go back into N8N. We will tap on the three dots next to our profile in the bottom left corner and then select settings. And then in the left tab bar, we are gonna select N8N API and we will create an API key. And I'll just call this test. And you can choose when it expires. Ideally, just put it to never expires and then you will press save. And here is your API key right here. So just click it to copy. Then we will head back into VS Code and we will paste that API key right here. And then we will just save this file and close that. And that is pretty much it. We now have the N8N MCP installed in Claude Desktop. And to prove it, I'm gonna open Claude Desktop now. 
if you had it open previously you're gonna want to give it a full reset so just go control shift escape to open your task manager right here and then you're gonna want to right click on Claude and end task like that then you will reopen Claude and here is how it looks so now when we tap on this filter icon which says search and tools you should see your new n8n mcp right here with all its tools already enabled now i want to show you guys actually how this works so what i usually do is i'll say go into my account and create me a workflow that does x or if you have an existing workflow and you want to edit it or you want help debugging it or whatever you would provide it the workflow id so i would say go into this workflow, provide the workflow ID, and then say fix this, 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 and whatever. To get a workflow ID from your N8N account, it's pretty simple. If I hop back into N8N, let me just create a new workflow and I will just add a manual trigger, and then I will save this. If we hit on the three dots in the top right corner and then select settings, here is your workflow ID right here. So let me go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna go back to Claude and I'm gonna say update this workflow to have a chat trigger and connect it to an AI that I can ask questions to. And I'll say here is the workflow ID like that and let's watch it work. So the first thing it's gonna do is get the N8N workflow that I just provided it. So if I expand this, you'll see that this is the ID I gave it right here. Let me close that. So now you can see it's updating the partial workflow. I'm gonna press always allow on this. So it's searching nodes now. So it knows which nodes that are available. I'll allow this as well. You're gonna to have to do this the first time, just allow it all. Um, and pretty much what it's doing is it's calling a bunch of the tools that we just installed to help build the workflow. And what it's actually doing is creating the JSON file that it's then importing into your N8N account. It's the same as if you were to go into N8N and click on the three dots and press download JSON, then open a new workflow and import that JSON. That is exactly what it's doing. It's just building the JSON file and simply importing it into your account. So if I expand these here, you'll see that it's building out the JSON and then it's getting nodes that are available to it, okay? Then it's getting more nodes and it's updating the workflow and continuously updating full workflow and so on and so on. Now it's providing me with a complete summary of what it did. So now it's saying that the workflow is ready. It's describing what it does. So now if I hop back into N8N and I just give this a refresh, we should see our new workflow right here. And there it is. So it didn't do anything crazy. I didn't really give it proper instructions or anything, but it did what I asked. It added a chat trigger and then it added an AI agent that I can talk to. But of course there is some manual setup that's still needed. Now that's the important thing to know with this N8N MCP is that a lot of the time you're not gonna get a perfectly functioning workflow off the bat. You're gonna have to connect your credentials on your own. You may have to do some small tweaking or you may have to update the workflow to what you want it to be because it didn't do the best job creating the workflow. If I wanted to update the same workflow, I would say something like switch the AI agent to a GPT node instead. Now it's gonna go back into the same workflow and make those changes for me, as you'll see in just a sec. So it's searching nodes. Okay, it found the open AI node, cool. Now it's getting essential nodes, updating the workflow. You guys get it at this point. So I'm just gonna speed this up. All right, so now it's saying it's updated the workflow with an open AI GPT node. So now if I go back into the same workflow and I refresh, we, such, we should see the GPT node and there it is. So pretty cool guys. The other thing that it can do is create workflows from scratch. So I'll show you one more example. I'll say make a new workflow in my AnyMan account that has a Google Sheets trigger that watches for new imported leads and then sends me a slack notification when a new lead has been added so now this is going to create a brand new workflow you can see it's calling the n8n create workflow right here if i expand this you'll see that it's starting to build the json that it's then going to import into the account all right so it looks like it's done now so let's go through what it did so it started off creating the workflow and then it validated the workflow and found that there were some issues with what it created so then it got some essential nodes to update its memory on what nodes are available then it started updating the full workflow and then validated it again 
and found another error. So then it went to search for node properties, updated the workflow once more, updated the full workflow, and then decided that the workflow was ready, provides me with the workflow ID, and it named it lead notification system. So now let's hop back into our N8N account. It usually adds the workflow just on your main page in personal. There it is right there. So I'm gonna click on that, and there we have it. So it's a simple two node workflow. You know, I thought of these examples on the spot. So obviously there's more complex workflows that you could build with it. But again, remember, you will have to set up your own credentials, although you could give it to Claude and have it set up the credentials for you. I suggest just making it build the workflow, going into the workflow and making all the little adjustments afterwards. Point being is that this is an extremely useful tool and my biggest use case for it is actually troubleshooting workflows that I build myself. So when I have a complex workflow that has some bugs in it or just needs to be updated for efficiency, I'll build the workflow, I'll go to Claude and I'll say, here's the workflow ID, make it more efficient or fix this error or X, Y, Z. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is an extremely useful tool. I highly suggest hopping on this now. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean so much to us. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.